What's up, everybody? Man, it's your boy, Mr. Do Guy, coming at y'all with another video, man. <laughs> and tonight, man, I'm going to talk about the uh, Super Bowl 54. You had the Kansas City Chiefs beating the San Francisco 49ers 31 to 20 to win the Super Bowl. And Patrick Mahomes is your Super Bowl MVP, yo. Um, before I get into this video, man, for everyone, if you want to give me a follow on Instagram or send me a friend request on Facebook, I'm going to have my Instagram and my Facebook information down in the description box. Um, come give me a follow on the gram. Come send me a request on the book. Um, come holler at your boy, yo. <laughs> Oh, wow, man. First off, man, congratulations, man, to former Philadelphia Eagles coach, the big homie, Big Red, Andy Reid, man. Um, Very well deserved. He gets his 222nd career win on February 2nd, 2020, man. Just some unbelievable stuff, man. Um, I am so happy for him, yo. Everybody know, man, he was the former Philadelphia Eagles coach. Um, you know, we went to three straight and uh, four straight NFC championship games, man. Um, the first three we fell short, um, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, uh, I mean, St. Louis Rams, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Carolina Panthers. Finally broke through, beat the, um, the Atlanta Falcons before falling short to the New England Patriots in the Super Bowl. A couple of years later, man, the 2008 to uh, 2009 season, lose to the Arizona the Cardinals in the NFC Championship game. And then the 2012-2013 season, man, after a three and a promising three and one start, you know, we go on a long losing streak, man. And it eventually cost him his job. Um, us Eagles, man, eventually we get, you know, we go through the heartache of Chip Kelly, get Dougie P, um, a protege of Andy Reid. And you know, us a couple of years ago, we hoist the Lombardi trophy. And now it's Andy Reid's time, man. The time is his, man. Um, he finally gets it done and I'm so happy for him yo um, another play I'm happy for, man, is Tyron Honey Bad Badger Matthew, man. Shout out to him, LSU stand up, DBU stand up, man. I'm so happy for that guy, man. That guy been through a lot, man. Um, you know, especially thinking about us falling short to Alabama in the national championship. Um, the way we went out, and for him to to get this Super Bowl ring, man, it's amazing. Also, shout out to Morris Claiborne, you know, and um, Dame Daryl Daryl Williams. Man, um, you know, they also get Super Bowl rings, also, man. LSU national champs and and some Super Bowl champs, man. Oh, uh, now it's time, now it's time to get into this game, man. <laughs> wow, what a comeback, yo. Uh, this team was getting dominated, man. The San Francisco 49ers was absolutely taking it to the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, you know, they was running to the edges a lot, especially um, you know, with some little wide receiver quick passes, the little tap passes to the fronts and end arounds with Debo Samuel. Um, Raheem Mostert was starting to get going. Um, Jimmy G had kind of got a little hot in that second half, man. Um, use check get a Gets the touchdown. Kittle made a couple of catches. Um, and with like five, six minutes or so, man, the 49ers are up 20 to 10, looking like they about to run away with this game. Then third, it was third and 15. <laughs> third and 15, the Kansas City Chiefs, man, Mahomes done through two picks. Um, they're getting dominated. They can't stop the 49ers offense. Offensively, they just getting getting, getting out physical. And then Mahomes throws it up to Tyree Hill, man, and the whole game turns around. Um, he eventually gets a, um, a touchdown. I think it was to Travis Kelsey. They get a three and out. Then he throws a touchdown to Damian Williams. Um, they get, what, a, a four and out. That Damian Williams breaks a touch, a long touchdown run. Then they get an interception by Fuller, and then that's pretty much all she wrote, man. Um, what a performance by this team, man. This team was down 24 to nothing to the Houston Texans, 17 to 7, you know, to the Tennessee Titans. And it was down 20 to 10 with like six minutes left to the to the basically the most dominant defense in the NFL this season. And this team just didn't flinch. This team didn't blank. Um, they just kept put kept it going, man. They just kept pushing and they persevered to get this win, man. Um, shout out to the big homie Patrick Mahomes, man. Your Super Bowl MVP. I figured it would have been out of him and Damian Williams. 
this guy did not play well today, man. <laughs> like, he didn't play well today. Um, up until the end of the game, he didn't play well. He missed some throws. Um, he threw two interceptions. Um, he just, he looked out of sorts. Like, he did not play well, yo. Um, Should have thrown a third interception to Quan Alexander earlier in the game. And, you know, after making that throw to Tyreek Hill, man, it's kind of like, I always compared him to Steph Curry in basketball. I said, watching Mahomes throw a football is like watching Steph Curry shoot a basketball because it don't matter how off he's been, man. It don't matter how bad he's been playing, how off he's been. If he gets one to go in, you know he's capable of just lighting it up after that. And that's what happened with Mahomes tonight, man. Um, You, you know, he got hot, man. He started lighting that thing up, man. Um... And, man, wow, like, you know, the guy is just <laughs> – the football – he's the face of the NFL right now, man. The football world is in his hands, man. When you talk about a guy who's already in just his second year of being a full-time starter, he's won a, MVP, a league MV, – a regular season MVP. He's won a Super Bowl, and he's won a Super Bowl MVP, yo. I mean, if he stays healthy, I mean – the sky is the limit for him, man. I mean, there's no telling how many of these things he could get, man. Um, and when you consider the fact that he has weapons like Tyreek Hill, Travis Kelsey, Sammy Watkins, Nicole Hartman, um, a lot of people wrote off Damian Williams, man. That guy was a, has been amazing. You know, his playoff, all his playoff games have been amazing, including last season, yo. So, I mean... <laughs> The guy that the guy is just the face of the NFL right now. I mean, what more can you say, yo? Um, he's what twenty four years old. Like you done accomplished all this. Like that's unheard of, man. You got guys been in the league fifteen years, ain't never done none of this. You feel me? And it's just his third year, second year as a full time starter. That's amazing, man. Shout out to the Kansas City Chiefs fans, man. As an Eagles fan, you know, um, when we finally broke through and won our Super Bowl a couple of years ago, I know what that feeling is like, man, when you've been waiting and waiting. And the majority of Chiefs fans obviously never seen this in their lifetime. So shout out to y'all. Y'all enjoy it. Y'all embrace it. It's well deserved, man. Um, big ups to Andy Reid. Um, he, he's well overdue for winning one, yo. Um, and for the San Francisco 49ers, man, um, great season. Um, great season. They were not one of the teams that I expected to be in this position, you know, when the season started. Um, Jimmy G, you know, coming back off of an ACL injury. Um, you know, he's had, he's been really good this year and at times he's been spot, spotty, but you know, the 49ers got their quarterback, man. Um, that running game was, was prolific. Um, George Kittle is an absolute beast at tight end. Debo Samuels is a rookie, is an absolute beast at wide receiver. Um, that defensive front, man, Nick Bosa and Eric Armstead and DeForest Buckner, you know, and D Ford, man, those guys are monsters, man. Greenlaw, Quan a healthy Quan Alexander, um, you know, Vern, um, I mean Sherman, Mosley, <laughs> Tort, you know. Ward, I mean, those guys are amazing, man. Like, that defense is amazing, yo. Um, They just ran it. Mahomes got hot. Uh, it's something like they said in basketball, you know, great offense will be great defense. And that's what happened in the last few minutes. Um, The Chiefs, man, uh, Mahomes just got hot. And those weapons started creating separation and started making plays. And that's how it went down, man. Um, No shame. I know this one going to sting the 49ers a lot because – you know, if I was a 49er fan, I'd be destroyed because it's like, you had this game. <laughs> you get a stop on third and 15, you know, you pretty much got the game won. So for that to happen and then this game to just get away from them as fast as it did, I know this got to be a very devastating loss for 49ers fans, man. But I'm here to tell you, man, y'all y'all should hold y'all here. I know y'all ain't trying to hear that right now. And I take, and honestly, I can't blame y'all for not wanting to hear that right now. But honestly, y'all should hold y'all head up high man what a season um like i said nobody's seen y'all getting to this point this season i think kyle shanahan is an amazing coach um you know got a little conservative there in the second half man um but 
you know, nevertheless, he's a great young coach, man. His his play calling, you know, and, and the, the movement of all the plays, the eye candy before the snap is all amazing. Robert Sala is a great defensive coordinator. I know the last few minutes wasn't his greatest moment, but the guy is a great defensive coordinator. And the 49ers got a young team, man, a very, very young team that, you know, is going to compete for a while. So shout out to the 49ers for representing the NFC, man, making this thing a great game. Um, um, you know, it was a great Super Bowl to watch, man. Shout out to them for that. Um, but but shout out to the Chiefs, man. <laughs> Andy Reid, big homie, big red Andy Reid finally gets it done. Tyron Matthew, Patrick Mahomes, Super Bowl MVP. Kansas City, y'all enjoy it. Y'all go party, man. Now, me personally, I'm looking forward to the offseason now. <laughs> uh, and the fact that the Eagles are still the last NFC team to win the Super Bowl, you know, I could take a little pride in that too, man. Um, I had the Chiefs winning 27-21, so I'm glad I looked like I was know I knew what I was talking about for a change. Um, but with that being said, man, that's all I got for y'all tonight. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Go on, hit the like button for your boy, and give me a subscribe, man. I'm gonna have Philadelphia Eagles and NFL content throughout the year. Also, this coming Tuesday at 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Central. 3 p.m. Pacific, I'm going to do a live Q&A. Y'all can come on there, ask me anything, tell me anything. I'll answer your questions, respond to your comments, and give you a shout-out on the live, yo. Um, Y'all should join me. It'll be some good stuff. Until then, man, y'all have a blessed one. Fly, Eagles, fly. Congratulations, Kansas City Chiefs, Super Bowl 54 champs.